Today I'm going to show you how I create this social media post using Adobe Photoshop. So let's get this started. Firstly, the assets I am using in this Photoshop social media post, you can download as a PSD in the description. Once you download the PSD, you will be seeing something like this. Once you download it and open it to, from Photoshop, you will be seeing something like this. All right. So let's hide the eyeball of these layers. Now grab on this, select gradient, choose gradient, select this color stop, select color, choose a dark reddish color like so and select OK. Select this color stop, select this and choose a brighter, much brighter and lighter color version of red. Select OK. Now select this opacity stop and increase the opacity to 100 and select OK. Alright. And choose the style as radial and choose reverse option. Increase the scale to like so. Alright. And then select OK. Now right click on the gradient choose convert to smart object now control j to duplicate it control d to transform it and hold shift and scale it down like so okay all right now select the first recreated gradient control d to transform it or shift scale it up like so all right Maybe control T and scale it down a little bit. Alright. Okay. Now open the logo of this Coca Cola and place it here. Zoom in. Now get this magic grand tool. Select this. Make sure you have untick this contagious option and select the color of this white and select mask button. Now get the brush tool, right click on it, choose hard round brush and yeah, paint it where you do not want to see. Make sure you have the foreground color as black, alright, and then paint it. Alright, like so, easy peasy and place it here. Make sure it is horizontal center, to do that select it. Select this. All right. Now select this Coca-Cola bottle, bottle eyeball, and open it. And yeah, I'm going to make sure this is also horizontally centered. To do that, select it. Select this. Okay. And create a new layer underneath this Coca-Cola bottle. To do that, create new layer. Select this brush tool and choose soft round brush flatten this shape like so okay and then control plus to zoom in hold the space and drag it down and yeah make sure you have what foreground color as black and paint it like so all right now control Press Ctrl J after selecting this Coca Cola bottle. So it creates a duplicate of that Coca Cola bottle. Now select it, the duplicated Coca Cola bottle. Ctrl D to transform it. Choose flip vertical and place it right, right here. Okay. Alright. Now place it underneath the original Coca Cola layer and zoom in. Okay, now initiate the pay that shit. I'm going to control T to transform it, choose warp and select this point and drag it to this point like so. Select this point and drag it to this point like so. Okay and adjust it like so. Yeah. All right. We'll never take me. Yeah. Like. Okay. Now select OK. All right. Now get this gradient. Before get the gradient, you have to select it. Select this mask button. 
then after that choose gradient tool select this black to transparent gradient if you do not have this gradient you can create it manually grab the gradient like anywhere like so and remove this color stop select this color stop select color choose black as the color and select this color stop choose black as the color and select this and decrease the opacity to all the way zero okay that creates a gradient of black to transparent and then select ok and choose gradient tool and yeah mask it out like so okay all right so control minus to zoom out yeah and maybe decrease the passage to 70 to 80 like so all right okay now select this coca-cola bottle choose levels and clip it to the coca-cola bottle and adjust this shadow and the mid tones and the highlights like so Need it? All right. The cable by the Yay. Okay. Now I'm going to open the eyeball of this glitter. Okay. And place it right above these two gradients and control T to transform it. And place it one in here. Okay, like so and maybe change the blending mode to overlay all right okay okay I'm gonna go with overlay and place it somewhere here like so and control J to duplicate it control D to transform the duplicated version and place it here and control minus to zoom out right click on it Choose distort and distort from these points like so. Okay. All right. And now I'll be a dead. Okay. Now select the. Uh, okay, now open the eyeball of this Coca-Cola glass and zoom in a little bit and I'm going to now I'm going to duplicate the Coca-Cola glass and place the Coca-Cola duplicated Coca-Cola glass in underneath this original Coca-Cola glass and control T to transform it right click on it flip vertical and place it right here Okay, right click on it, choose warp and adjust these points like so. Okay, adjust this point as well. Right, and um, there without a stabbing line here. Wait, it is shown. I meant it will use that. Did it? All right. Now, select the mask button, grab the gradient, and Mass it out like so. Okay, but they just way it. All right. Decrease the passage to something like seventy to eighty. Okay, select Coca-Cola glass original PNG and create the level adjustment layer. Clip it to that. Adjust the shadow, mid tones, and highlights. All right. Okay, see it now. Open the eyeball of this layer and Control Shift right bracket key to bring that layer to all the way up and to change the blending mode to screen or linear dodge. I'm gonna go with the screen and Control T to transform that. 
Okay, select diff, control D to transform. Okay, now select the flare, control D to transform it. Hold shift and adjust the hold shift and scale it down like so. And maybe place here and right click on it, choose warp and warp it. Okay, alright. I'm gonna change the blending mode of that to linear dodge. Okay. Control J to duplicate it. Control J to transform it. I think they have it. And place it here. Choose warp. Okay, place it maybe here. Choose warp. All right. Select this flare and control T. Warp it. Okay.